Hello fellow writers, it's Emerson right here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my Camp Nano July 2020 goals along with my quarterly goals because honestly they were very intertwined this quarter so I'm like might as well do it all in one video. This is my first Camp Nano so I'm super excited and yeah I'm like oh I'm gonna be vlogging all month, that's super exciting, but let's get right into the goals. This Camp Nano, I am gonna be working on my current work in progress, which is a adult dark fantasy. I am completely done with the first act, so Camp Nano, I'm gonna be focusing on the second act, which is super big. I'm not gonna be able to finish it because it's gonna be like 60,000 words, so not there, <laughs> not gonna write that many words, but my goal is to get 40,000 words done this month, which is about twice the amount I get done on a good month. <laughs> so it's gonna be a lot. I do have like a minimum, like I'll be okay if I reach this number and that is 30,000. So that's like my bottom goal, but I really want the 40,000, but I'll be completely okay and content and happy with 30,000. With those, I will be writing or I will need to write about 13,000, 13,000, wow, 1,300 words a day. I think it actually comes out to like 1,290, but I just rounded up. And I basically am going to be splitting them kind of into weeks. So week one and five, which only have five days in them, I'm going to be writing 6,500 words or 6,500. And then the other weeks is 9,100, which that is a lot. I'm a little intimidated, but I want to step up to the challenge. And basically my game plan is I'm going to write every day, hopefully. If not, I will make up for it. But um I will be doing a minimum of a thousand words a day with me writing every day at a thousand words gets me to that 30,000. So that should be surefire way, but I'm going to be striving obviously for the more. On good days of writing, I can write like over, I would say about 2,000 to 2,300 words. So it's just keeping that consistently and getting that writing done. That will be the main challenge because I can get those words out, but doing it every day is another story. I am working full time right now. So I, one of the ways I've prepared is training myself to wake up early before my shift to write because I've noticed like I'll get exhausted after my shift. So I have to do the writing before my shift. So that is what June consisted of for me. Even today, like I don't have to be into work until 12.30 and I woke up at seven so I could film this video and write some scripts and do productive things before I go to work so I can just relax afterward. Also in July, I have a long weekend where I'm gonna have the entire house to myself because my roommates are going to be out of town so I am going to utilize that to its fullest extent and basically do all the writing that weekend. So that is going to be exciting. And that is my Camp Nano goals. It is exciting, is intimidating. I am ready to tackle it and tomorrow it's going to be straight out the gate ready to go. I don't have to go in until really late so I'm like ready to get some writing done. Now on to my quarter three goals. They are very intertwined with Camp Nano because I kind of built them around Camp Nano but that is to finish this draft. I am excited. I want to use the power that I have in Camp Nano and push on into the next coming months and I hopefully want to get it done by August even though doing that I would have to write 35,000 words in August to be able to do that so I don't know if I'm gonna get it done by August I'm sure I can get it done by the end of September but school starts in September and I'm a college student so it's a crazy time and I'm hoping to get it done by August so I can start editing in October 
but we will see. But I want to finish this draft this quarter. That's my main goal. Then I want to read at least four books or finish some of the books I started reading, like The Savior's Champion by Jenna Moresi, which I'm about, I'm a little half, like under half, wait, I'm a little over halfway through the book. And yes, it is a little water damage brought to the beach. Bad idea. Don't do it. Do not recommend. <laughs> um, and so far it is so good. I really enjoy this book. So I'm planning on finishing that this quarter along with Out of My League by Sarah Sutton, which is really good. Um, it is a YA contemporary romance. This um, Savior's Champion is an adult dark fantasy. I like to read things all over the place. I've been trying to read more adult fantasy because a lot of my forte is YA, but I am writing an adult dark fantasy. So I'm like, I should probably read some of those to understand the conventions, which is one of the best writing advice I've ever been given. I am also this quarter so excited to get into. I just got the advanced reader copy of the Cyborg Tinkerer by Meg Latour, which comes out November 17th of 2020. And it is literally everything I've been wanting in a book for so long. So I'm so excited about it. Like, oh, words cannot describe. Words cannot describe. I'm like a queer lead a circ like I love circus aesthetics even though I know circuses are problematic and all that stuff but an old-timey like vintage circuit circus just I don't know it does things for me and then like steampunk which is my favorite genre along with fantasy but like if we're talking about subgenre steampunk hell yes it's my favorite so everything about this book, I'm so, so, so excited and I want to get reading it immediately, but I'm like, let me finish the books I've already started. Plus I am thinking about rereading Lord of the Rings. Um, so I have that coming up. I have it like at my bedside. That's why I looked over there. And also I'm thinking of participating in my, in my college's summer reading challenge. So I want to do those books too. And that starts in July 7th. So I have a whole lot of options to read and I just want to read four books, four. I am hoping I will read more than that, but I've been in kind of a reading slump, so I don't want to push myself a little too hard. And speaking of steampunk, I want to start re, like not rewriting, but start writing again my steampunk novel. I put it on the back burner because it had to do with the plague and with everything that's going on, I was like, oh, not good for my mental health and started working on my adult dark fantasy. So I'm like, oh, okay, I am here for this now. I can, I'm, you know, in a place where I can write it. So while I take a break, hopefully in September, I will start writing my steampunk novel again, which is Super exciting. I've been wanting to get back into it for the past couple weeks, but I'm like, I need to work on my current work in progress. So, but I'm hoping during that time I can get writing that. And then this isn't really a goal. It's just something that's happening um, that kind of started this quarter, but it's gonna happen in the third quarter. And that is me getting a new job. I'm on track to do so. I'm super excited. I've been at the I'll still be at the same company. It's just like a different position that's like way different than what I do. But I've been in the same position for almost four years now. And I'm like, I need something new and something just not what I'm doing <laughs> currently. And so I'm super excited to be doing that. So I will be tackling that this quarter. And that is all. Those are my goals for Camp Nano and quarter three of 2020. If you would like to watch my vlogs that I'm going to be doing for Camp Nano, please subscribe. I will be uploading those every Monday and then along with two other videos a week. So super exciting. And if you would like to like and leave a comment, it helps me out a lot. So please consider doing that. And thank you again for making it this far in the video and I will see you in the next.